Hey everyone, welcome to the show. If you know the old expression, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, well today we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna take a look at one of my Christmas gifts. This right here, this slow cooker. This is the KitchenAid slow cooker, model KSC 622-3SS. We're gonna take an in-depth look at this in a three-part video series. In the first episode, I'm gonna show you around the features of the slow cooker, and we're gonna make some pulled pork. So for my first recipe, pulled pork, slow cooker, this is gonna be good, stick around. Okay, so today we're looking at the KitchenAid slow cooker and it's a pretty simple setup. It is this removable ceramic bowl. This is six quarts. So the food goes in here, put a little liquid in, lid goes on, goes into the base, stainless steel base. It's got four settings, warm, low, medium, high. And then it's got a timer. You can set the timer for up to 24 hours. And that's basically it. it plugs in three prong cord, the whole thing. It's really a simple device. You know, it's basically a set it and forget it. Today's recipe begins with a pork butt. This is a 4.81 pound pork butt, which is actually a pork shoulder. It has nothing to do with a butt. This one is boneless, but you can get them with the bone in, and you can get them about double this size or even bigger. And usually in that case, they're labeled as picnic roasts. For the rub, I'm using McCormick brand Grillmates Applewood Rub. This has a really nice smoky flavor that goes great with pork. And we're gonna apply that very liberally all over this pork butt, front and back, top and bottom, on the sides, and then press the rub down onto the meat, and it is ready for the slow cooker. The next thing we're gonna do is chop up a few cloves of garlic, and then we're gonna add some butter to a pan. We're gonna saute up the garlic, then the next thing we're gonna do is roughly chop up some onion. And then we're gonna add that to our pan. Add a touch of olive oil, a few sprigs of fresh thyme, and just saute these together until the onions are nice and soft. And now to the slow cooker. I've been preheating this on low for about 15, 20 minutes. Add a little olive oil to the bottom, and this will help prevent the food from sticking. And then we place our sauteed vegetables into the bottom of the pot. And this will give the pork butt a nice little bed of vegetables to rest on. And we place our pork butt right on top. Next thing we're gonna do is add some liquids, and I've got a six ounce can of pineapple juice. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of a Hawaiian flavor to this. Add a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And a few dashes of liquid smoke. And hopefully we'll get a nice smoky flavor from this. And then we just put the lid on and let the slow cooker do its thing. And just like that is nine and a half hours later and our pork butt is hopefully done. You can see all the juices in the bottom that it was stewing in. That's some of the juice from the meat and the fat and the pineapple juice of course. And here I'm using a big fork and some tongs. See if I can pull this out of here without making too much of a mess. Okay, and now to pull the meat, I'm using two forks. I'm starting with the fat cap side. It's pretty soft. I'll pull off the fat cap and start working on the meat. And it's actually, it's pulling a little bit more difficult than I was hoping it would. And since my glass dish is moving all over the place, 
I'm gonna put a towel down underneath it. And keep pulling this pork. And here we are now after what has definitely been a good bit of effort. We finally got our tray filled with the pork. The fat has been left in the glass dish. And we're ready to make some vinegar sauce to go with this. So for my sauce, I'm gonna start with some apple cider vinegar and I'm totally just gonna eyeball this. I'm not measuring anything at all. But I'm gonna use maybe a quarter cup, maybe a little bit more, not really sure. And to the vinegar, I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce. I happen to have this in the refrigerator. Just about two tablespoons. And I'm gonna finish the sauce off with some red pepper flakes. Maybe about two teaspoons worth. Just to heat it up a little bit. Then stir those together. Give it a little taste. And we are ready for the pork. Of course you can use straight up barbecue sauce or you can use a mustard based barbecue sauce like in South Carolina. But this is more of a North Carolina style sauce, really heavy on the vinegar. You know, I sweetened it up with a little bit of barbecue sauce, but it's definitely got that vinegar punch that I like. So just ladle that all over your pork. And now to build our pulled pork sandwich, I'm gonna start out with a potato roll that I quickly warmed up in the microwave. And to that, we're gonna heap on a good bit of that pulled pork. Maybe a little bit more. I'm feeling pretty hungry. And I'm gonna top that off with some coleslaw. And I've gotta have a side of baked beans. And here is the final dish. Pulled pork sandwich made in a KitchenAid slow cooker right here in New York City. <laughs> Moment of truth. Mm. Not bad, not bad at all. Mm. It's really good. There's a tiny bit of smoky smokiness to it from the rub and from the liquid smoke, but I don't really taste any of the pineapple juice. But I do taste a lot of like real strong pork flavor, so it's really good. I think this, um, you know, the potato roll too is a nice touch. Okay, so that concludes my first video with the new KitchenAid slow cooker. The pulled pork came out very good. It was a little bit tough to pull. I think that's because I cooked it with the fat cap on the bottom as opposed to on the top. So the meat itself didn't really braise in the juice down below. Other than that, I was kind of missing some of the uh, nuances of flavor, like from the liquid smoke and the pineapple juice. I didn't really taste those too much. All I really tasted was pork, which, I mean, that's a good thing too, but I was kind of hoping for a little bit of that pineapple flavor to come through and maybe a little of that smoky flavor from the rub and, and the liquid smoke. So the next time I make pulled pork, I'm definitely going to have the fat cap on top so that the meat braises down in the juices below. So all together, I think for the first cook in this KitchenAid slow cooker, I think it was a success. I'm really looking forward to my next two videos and then the full wrap up of what I really think about my new Christmas gift, the KitchenAid slow cooker. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any tips or tricks with a slow cooker, I would love to hear about them because I am still an amateur with this thing for sure. And uh, please subscribe and of course, keep on cooking.